Salam. The first thing that should be said about the dirty war on Yemen is that it is not really led by the Saudis, it's led by Washington. It is a North American project through their agents, the Saudis, to destroy an independent people, a rebellious people who established the first and only real revolution of the so-called Arab Spring. The attack on the Yemeni people and their uh, political development is also part of this broader project which the US called 15 years ago a new Middle East, an idea of a new Middle East where the US would control all of the regimes, all of the peoples, all of the states in the region without any exceptions. And we know from Pentagon doctrine in the 21st century that this means destroying disconnectedness, which means not tolerating states and peoples that remain outside the integration they see as part of their own regime, part of their own empire. And secondly, the idea of full spectrum dominance, where the US wants to control not simply strategically whole regions, but also economically and in terms of communication and so on. So the war on Yemen is part of that broader plan, of course failing as it's been failing in many parts of the war and facing a withdrawal, at least a strategic partial withdrawal, which we've seen, for example, in Afghanistan recently. The other significance of the, the war on Yemen is that, of course, Yemen sits strategically in between the two key agents of Washington in the West Asian region, that is to say, between the Saudis and the Israelis. And of course, there is significant cooperation between the Israelis and the Saudis in their attempts to try and, uh, if not overthrow the Ansar Ali government in Yemen, then break up and fragment the state into several pieces, similar to the program they had for Iraq, for Syria, for many other parts of the world, for example. So that is important. They don't want to see, Washington does not want to see a independent state sitting on those important sea routes and in between their two major agents there. Another thing to notice about this is that the, the sea routes that pass through past Yemen, past that strategic straits there, are also important for China's Belt and Road Initiative. Now that's significant because a lot of the US manipulations in West Asia are precisely to block the entry of China or any other power for that matter, um, to block the influence of Iran, to block the influence of Russia, but in particular the influence of China and its infrastructural routes, um, sea routes and land routes from Asia through to Europe. So that's another reason why Yemen is important to Washington. One would sometimes, people sometimes say, why is it so important to Washington to attack these people who are very poor, who have very little, who are prepared to fight ferociously for their independence? And that's the reason, the reason that the US is incredibly jealous of any other big power or any um, multipolar world where there are different poles of power not controlled by it um, and wants to crush those um, poles of power. Now the problem is it's facing failure in that program, in its idea of a new Middle East, failure in Iraq, failure in Syria, failure in Afghanistan, which we've seen through the withdrawal, which has sent uh, great anxiety through all of the collaborators of the US in the region, the, the monarchies in the Persian Gulf, um, the Kurdish separatists in the north of Syria, for example, the Israelis themselves, the Saudis also losing against the Yemenis now looking, trying to put out feelers and see how they can find a new place for themselves in that part of the world if the US begins to retreat. But of course that's the strength of resistance. The resistance now sees opportunities in the fact that the US is very likely to carry out a strategic partial withdrawal at least in the coming months.